And somebody, when you were out there, they, they decided to, to cough in your face? Like spit on you. Or spit on you? What, what happened there? We thought that was kind of in, inconsiderate to sort of cough in our space, you know, but we're hoping that we can hash it out with him on the Sharky's deck sometime soon over at Mai Tai. And he's, you're going to meet him at Sharky's later? Yeah, we'd like to hash it out with him. I mean, hopefully he's feeling better and he's no longer symptomatic. I mean, I'm just concerned for him, but he's got a pretty jacked rig, so we're confident that if he is sick, he'll hopefully pass through it relatively well. I just really want to compliment him on his physique. So, dude, if you're watching, send us your workout routine, please. Yeah, look at that wad, workout of the day. I noticed you do a lot of um, your hashing out at Sharky's. Does that work out okay? We made some pretty good resolutions. Yeah. We've hashed out a lot of serious beef there. I mean, there was a time where our buddy uh, Dolan was not getting along with anyone in the crew, was actually getting into like public altercations relatively often. And then we just went to Sharky's and they let us take over the DJ deck. And we just played all the songs to get him emotional. Mm -hmm. And we worked through it. And to this day, he hasn't had another incident. So we yeah. have a lot of faith in the power well, of Sharky. And speaking of music, uh, it, was, it was quite something to see your dance moves. Can, can, as somebody who, who doesn't have a lot of rhythm, can, can you give me any advice or any tips on how to dance uh, better? It's all in the hips, okay? You got to gyrate those hips. Do it, JT. There we go. And uh, just feel it, you know? Feel that soul. I, I put on Justin Timberlake a lot, and I can just feel it coursing through my body, and I'll just, you know, move from the hips. Yeah. You can't fight that. Do you get that from all those kettlebell routines, JT? Yeah, you know, they do help me with, like, my functional mobility, so definitely hitting some Turkish get-ups will help you get up on the dance floor. How was, how's Kellen doing? I know he's the reason you really got motivated to learn about masks. Yeah, well, it was pretty tragic. I mean, he still can't taste in and out um, You know, he bit into his double-double and cried. And so he's been pretty upset, but I think he's starting to pull through. Yeah, he, he's confident that one day he'll get to taste in and out again. But he learned a valuable lesson about taking Corona seriously. For sure. Well, well, and you, and he they taught us, Alex, they taught us a valuable lesson last time we were here with them about, in fact, I was thinking about getting some t-shirts about being pro cup. It's like when I was in Little League, I never wanted to wear a cup. And then my third baseman, Simon, got hit super hard where you wear a cup. And since then, I've been super pro cup. So I think people just have to experience the downside of not wearing safety precautions or, or measurements, and then they'll understand. There's been an entire pro cup movement uh, since since their last appearance here. Mm -hmm. So what is the, the most important public health takeaway we can take from from your videos? Um, I would say that it might be a particularly American thing, but I think we're often intimidated by experts. So it helps me if an expert can tell me something self-deprecating up top so I can kind of like lower my, my defenses and really listen. Yeah, for sure. Like if if Fauci fired off the coronavirus Space Force meetings by saying, like, what up, like, we're super hungover, then I'd be like, this is a really trustworthy guy. And if you, maybe if he wore a Hawaiian. I think him throwing yeah. the baseball was an attempt at that to, like, humanize him. Yeah. But maybe that went too far in the other direction. Maybe that yeah. Cup t-shirt yeah. for him.